Hi, this is Mark with rawnutrition.com. In this video, I'll be making orange juice with a slow stainless steel juicer and a fast stainless steel juicer. So the main difference between these juicers is the type of extraction they do. The twin gear angel juicer here are two gears that turn together at 80 revolutions per minute. Everything gets squeezed. So your juice is really obtained through squeezing and pressing. With the Breville juicer, it's a centrifuge juicer, so the juice is obtained by the produce being uh, grated down with a blade and that re remaining pulp is spun centrifugal force to get the juice out. So I'll just go through the parts and assembly for each juicer. This is this angel juicer. So it is all stainless steel. Your juice will not touch any plastic whatsoever, so you don't even need to worry about it. But plastic is BPA free or anything like that. It is all stainless steel. There's a little silicone ring here that you have as a seal between the juicer and the body. But you don't actually need to use that when juicing. Maybe if you're juicing something very liquidy like cucumbers, you may want to use a seal to prevent any juice from leaking along the body. But basically you have a lot of screen surface here, larger holes here, little finer holes here, and everything is broken down through the gears. These two large heavy gears, these are over three pounds together in weight, so they're very big. Everything is broken down here and all that remaining pulp is crushed with the uh, helical gears at this end. And very easy to assemble, snap that on. It's really just a little juice flash ring and important with the Super Angel juicer to put your Collecting bowl right there prevents the, juice, the juicer from tipping forward when pressing down. So again, 82 revolutions per minute, slow cold process as far as getting the juice out. In this case, we'll be doing orange juice. With the centrifuge juicer, everything is processed through the screen here. You push down through the large heat chute. This is a wide mouth heat chute. Everything is broken down with the blades here. It's pretty much like a, a grate where it's shaved. That remaining pulp is spun through here and then it's ejected out the back into the bucket back here. Here the pulp will come out here and the juice there. So this juicer has two speeds, it's 6500 and then um, 13,000. So basically it turns 150 times faster than this juicer. So definitely the advantage of this machine is it's fast. The advantage here is it's slow. So you figure. If you want to save time in today's world, people are busy, they're going for fast things. But if you want good health, slow process is really what you want to preserve the most enzymes, nutrition, prevent oxidation, and essentially also squeeze out the most juice. Fast process doesn't necessarily get out the most juice. So there is some plastic in this juicer. With the Super Angel in Canada, you do get a stainless steel cup. In the US, it comes with a glass cup. So again, no plastic here, it, does, it is going into a plastic recipient. So I'll go ahead and get started with the Breville juicer. This juicer is pretty loud. I'll start with it on high speed and I won't be talking doing that. So three, the three hundreds we have in each bowl, these we open them up because the feed chute is smaller. But I have the same weights and sized oranges to be able to compare yield between the two. tend to leak a little bit here when you're pushing things in. I found that little bit of leaking coming out. I don't really like using these when they're so fast. It's like you're, you like get startled every time you put stuff in, especially when you're doing hard vegetables. It really knocks and kind of startles you. So with the Super Angel juicer, definitely a slow process, not very loud. And something like this, I got spurted here, is that's one thing that'll happen with even a single auger juicer. So you can get some juice splatter if you're not careful when you're putting it in, basically the orange is squeezing back up. So I 
keep your pusher over it and that should prevent you getting sprayed. So here's interesting, we, they're losing a little bit of juice here when starting. A little bit of juice came out at first. And now the pulp is coming out. There's not that seems to be any more juice coming out. So when you have soft things like this, you just want to let them go in slowly. Not overfeed, you'll get the most juice that way. There you have it with the Super Angel Juice. The fan does continue running a little bit after you're done juicing to cool the motor. Let's go ahead and compare the amount of juice from each. For our Super Angel Juice, you're definitely no foam there. This one is very frothy, very airy due to the process. Definitely with the Super Angel you're getting more of a press type juice. You're getting more of a juice that's been like blended pretty much. Well, look at the quantity obtained about 12 ounces with the Super Angel and of course I can't really compare due to the foam. It does reach about the 12, 13 if I measure all the way up the top of the foam. But if I look at juice, I only have about 8 ounces of juice. So that's pretty much it. And if you compare the, the juice between the two, definitely the one that looks more appetizing to drink is the one done with the Super Angel juicer. Give this a try. A little hard to drink with all that foam. Definitely I don't recommend using a centrifuge juicer. Use anything but a centrifuge juicer for juicing citrus. This is very nice juice. Got some foam in my glass on that side. Let's see if I can turn the motor off here. Okay. Before I try the juice, let's look at the pulp. So there's a little bit leftover juice on each side. So here's our pulp with the Breville juicer. Definitely moist. like here. There are some pieces that you are seeing of skin and that, even all this here, does feel kind of moist. I look at my pulp with the Super Angel. I left that juice in there so I wasn't favoring it. The juice that had come out at first got reabsorbed with the pulp. Of course, texture is definitely all very homogenous, very broken down. There are no big skin pieces like we had with the Treville juicer. And then a squeeze test between the two. So I feel like there's less pulp here. So there should, there could be a little bit of juice because I did have some. I'm not squeezing out any juice. This one feels very wet, so definitely we're squeezing drops of juice out. So the Breville juicer did leave some juice in there, obviously with our lower yield. And I think once it's settled, you would definitely end up with the more 
8 to 10 ounces instead of the 12 ounces that we got with the Super Angel. So let's test these out. It's very nice, very fresh, still cold. Let's try this out here. Should get through the foam. The flavor is definitely lost. I do have to drink through that foam so I can't really get to the flavor. as well as I can with here. But this is definitely nice. Neither of these have pulp in the juice. Obviously with the centrifuge it does, no pulp ends up in the juice. But that drinking appeal, definitely I'll go with the Super Angel or definitely in this case, it also healed more juice. And it wasn't that much harder to use. I did have to break those orange pieces down. I couldn't throw them in the hole process was definitely a lot uh, quieter and a lot nicer especially with the result. Again in this taste or comparison and demonstration between these two juicers the Angel Juicer Model 7500 wins out. Well again this is Mark with rawnutrition.com be sure to check us out online subscribe to our videos here on YouTube for more product comparisons and demonstrations.